A motion to form a joint select committee on IBC commissioners and the secretariat will now be tabled next week after Jubilee Alliance revised its list of members to the committee from 11 to 7. Jubilee representatives will be Meru Senator Kiraito Murungi, Elgeo Marakwet Senator Kipchumba Mukormen, nominated Senator Beatrice Salachi, Taveta MP Naomi Shaban, Gatondo South MP Moses Kuria, Kitutuchache MP Jimmy Angwenyi, as well as Mandera West MP Mohamed Mohamed, with Kiraito expected to co-chair the 14 members committee with CIA Senator James Orengo. The team is a team that has been agreed on and the rules of the game have already been agreed beforehand. So I don't think uh, there is uh, much left now, only to wish uh, those who are lucky to serve the country in this important discussion to help us uh, reach a very quick uh, consensus on the way forward so that our elections in August 2017 are clear. National Assembly Majority Leader Aidan Dwale says the committee will inquire on allegations against IBC commissioners and will welcome views from all stakeholders. The joint committee shall receive views from number one, experts, number two, members of the public, number three, civil society groups, number four, religious groups, Number four, five, the business community. Number five, political parties. Number six, county government. Duala was, however, categorical that President Uru Kenyatta and code leader Raila Odinga will not hold the joint address to lobby support for the committee, saying the matter will only be handled by parliament. There will be no joint press conference between the Honorable Raila Odinga and Honorable Uru Kenyatta on this matter. Uru Kenyatta will talk to his people uh, through a PG, through a statement, Raila Odinga will do the same for the court. He defended the selection of Kuria, saying he will not only add value to the committee, but he's under instructions on what is expected of him. Every player is supposed to tackle another player on the other side. <laughs> so I am sure the, the name of Moses Kuria <laughs> has a partner on the other side. <laughs> and he has full instructions yes. from us, the leadership that he must leave to that instruction. <laughs> Senate Majority Leader Kindiki Kithure said they decided to form the select committee to accommodate the opposition after its refusal to have the matter dealt with by the various committees of parliament. Approach of a joint select committee was a way of trying also to accommodate our friends in the opposition. It's like a middle ground. The committee report must be adopted by at least nine members and tabled in parliament within 30 days.